Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. So today we're going to be diving into a highly anticipated tactical shooter called Grey Zone Warfare. So this game is the first real showcase for what Unreal Engine 5 can do in the tactical shooter genre. We're going to be going in depth with everything that has been shown so far as well as go over some newly revealed information on what to expect from the game when it enters early access very very soon and also what to expect when the game fully launches. Also, for those of you guys that are console players out there, this game will be ported to next-gen consoles somewhere down the road, so this is not just a game for PC. So with that being said, real quick before we hop into things, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be super appreciated. Also, for those of you that may be new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any of my future uploads. So first things first, being that this is my first video covering Grey Zone Warfare, if you guys are wondering what the game actually is, it is an immersive tactical PvEVP first person shooter with a maximum focus on realism. All in all, you basically join a private military company and navigate a vast open world setting alone or in a squad, and you will also have to adapt to your surroundings and use tactics to your advantage and fight against other human operators as well as AI enemies as well. So there are three main points that I want to touch on here at the start of the video, and that is tactical FPS realism, along with mature and a gloomy atmosphere, as well as an expansive open world sandbox setting. So being able to embrace the challenge of a tactical PvEVP first person shooter where you can customize weapons with real ballistics, every move matters because your gear and progress are at stake. Also, when it comes to the expansive open world sandbox setting, we're going to be able to explore a sprawling 42 km squared location of a functional Southeast Asia country inspired by the stunning landscapes of Laos. You're going to be able to utilize explorable landing zones and helicopters to move throughout a persistent world that keeps on living when you're not playing the game. So that last one there, for those of you guys that have played Escape from Tarkov, this is not the same thing. This is nothing like Escape from Tarkov when it comes to that point. In Tarkov, you deploy into a raid that has a timer, and once you exfil, the match ends. In Grey Zone Warfare, you are infilling and exfilling out of a persistent world that keeps on going, even when you're not in it, so there will be other operators and AI that will change based on what you do in that world as you progress through your deployments. Also, for those of you guys that are into arcade style shooters, this will not be a game for you because the main focus of this game is realism. When it comes to the weapon mechanics, you can craft your ideal weapon, modify, swap, or add parts for versatile performance in any situation. They've also implemented an advanced simulation of external and terminal ballistics, ensuring accuracy by using real world data for ammunition and projectile materials. This is actually the main intel drop that just came out earlier today about the actual weapon ballistics. So this next bit of information is directly from the newly released dev blog that goes into detail with how they are handling ballistics in Grey Zone Warfare. So the article goes on to say that understanding terminal ballistics is vital for Grey Zone Warfare. You'll see how meticulously crafted the system is that strikes a balance between hardcore realism and accessible gameplay offering a gradual learning curve that is easy to understand, yet challenging to truly master. Each projectile's impact and effectiveness are determined by various factors, including energy, velocity, and penetration capabilities, and how these factors influence the damage potential of different types of ammunition. With that being said, various types of ammunition are at your disposal, each with unique characteristics and real-life properties derived from the materials comprising their jackets and core. For instance, soft point rounds are engineered to expand upon impact, proving effectiveness against unarmored adversaries. FMJ ammunition excels in penetration targets efficiently. Armor piercing rounds specialize in breaching armor defenses and finally hollow point bullets are crafted to expand upon entry inflicting greater damage and striking a balance between penetration and impact. The projectile simulation in Grey Zone Warfare includes a variety of detailed aspects. Firstly, it accounts for jacket damage and detachment. Secondly, it simulates core deformation, also known as mushrooming, as well as disintegration. Thirdly, considering the bullet's rotation, it incorporates the ricochet and projectile destabilization physics. And lastly, it includes a physical simulation within the human body, calculating both temporary and permanent cavities in soft tissue and their impact. 
So overall, when it comes to the actual ballistic systems and simulations that are in Gray Zone Warfare, it's going to be one of the most realistic ballistic systems that we have seen in any game, which will also make the game extremely punishing when you're shot. Well, this game is definitely not for the faint of heart. I will link the full article down below if you guys want to check out the actual full detailed information on the ballistic system. Moving on, the game will also have a unique health system that's going to define how you survive in the game. Injuries will impact perception and performance, as well as you'll have to identify the injury and solution to survive as well as help teammates. Injuries will encompass... Injuries encompass bruises, bleeding wounds, broken bones, damaged organs, and pain, and the players also need to manage energy and hydration while they're deployed as well. It is an extremely in-depth health system with fully detailed animations for every action that you do in the game. Also, when it comes to the visual aspects of the game, it is visually stunning. It utilizes the latest Unreal Engine 5 cutting-edge technology, including the groundbreaking features of Nanite, Lumen, and Virtual Textures. This enables unprecedented levels of graphic fidelity and realism, and it should definitely help the game run really well on a variety of PCs and eventually the next-gen consoles. So last but not least, we're going to be going into all of the details of the planned state of the game for when it is released into early access very soon. So once the game enters early access, there will be three distinct PMC factions supporting up to 48 players in total with a maximum of 16 players per faction. And this is how the game is going to play when you're actually on the map. When you load into a server, there will be a total of 48 players that can be on the map at any given time. And there will be a maximum of 16 players per faction. When it comes to the map itself, like we talked about earlier, it is an expansive 42 kilometer squared open world of Le Mang based on a real location showcasing an unprecedented representation of a jungle. Also, when it comes to the AI in Gray Zone Warfare, it will be ruthless with hundreds of enemies reacting to the player's moves through actions and emotions. There's also going to be the complex external and terminal ballistic simulation for the realistic shooting experience, which we talked about earlier in the video, as well as the innovative health system that intricately simulates every body cavity with its own damage effects. There's also going to be a network of six unique vendors offering 150 quests in total when it releases into early access. There will also be eight highly customizable weapons with over 400 interchangeable parts. So I was a little bit concerned about there being only eight weapons when it releases into early access, but with the amount of customization that you can do to these weapons, you can really change the core weapons into multiple different variations. So I think overall it will still be a fun experience. There's also going to be a diverse array of over 80 equipable gear items for tactical advantages, as well as an engaging interconnected player progression system. Also, when it comes to your actual character in the game, there will be a detailed character creation system along with an extensive apparel customization system as well. So for those of you guys that want to play Operator Barbie like you can in Ghost Recon, you will be able to do that. And last but not least, there will be integrated social features including friends, VoIP, and Messenger all built into the game when it enters early access for enhanced player interaction. So overall, the game will be evolving as it progresses through early access with every single update. There will be new areas added to the map along with different type of AI behavior, faction-based AI with its own agenda involving quests, patrolling, scavenging, and attacking other players. Post-launch, there will be dynamic weather and game-changing, captivating seasonal events. Overall, this seems to be an extremely immersive, realistic first-person tactical shooter that takes elements from the Ghost Recon franchise, as well as other franchises, including Escape from Tarkov. Overall, I'm extremely excited to jump into this game's early access whenever it releases, and I hope to cover more details on this game as it progresses through development here on the channel. But with that being said, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts on all of this down below. Is this a game that you might pick up in early access or you're going to wait to see more of what the game offers before you check it out? Let me know all of those thoughts down below. But like I said, that is all for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on all content surrounding the Ghost Recon franchise as well as Grey Zone Warfare here on the channel moving forward. But that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.